Happy Sunday, everybody, and welcome to Article Club. I'm Mark Icero, and Article Club is an experiment in community reading where we focus on one great article every month about race, education, or culture, and then we discuss it along with the author. This month, we're reading Lost in Summerland by Barrett Swanson, and so far, Article Clubbers are really enjoying it. Tyler called it wonderful, for instance, and Karina called it mesmerizing. And the biggest thing I'm hearing so far is that the piece is really pushing our thinking. It's certainly been hard for me to describe the article. It's about two brothers. It's about the supernatural, about depression, mental illness. It's about belonging. And maybe it's a little bit about magic. To help us make sense of our first impressions, I asked Article Clubber Summer to come on the podcast to share her first read of the piece. Summer is great. She's been part of our reading community since Gia Tolentino back in January, and I am very, very happy that we all get a chance to get to know Summer a little bit more through this conversation. Please enjoy. Hey, Summer, how are you? Hi, Mark. I'm good. How about you? I'm doing okay. Uh, It's the weekend here coming up. Are you excited? I am super excited. I am also very excited that you are going to be on this podcast right now. How are you feeling about it? I'm excited. This is the first time I've ever been a part of a podcast. So I'm just going to have fun with it. Well, yeah, and you're going to be a star. So thank you so much for saying yes to this. And thank you so much for being part of Article Club. But before I ask you a couple of questions, like Article Clubbers want to know more about you. So who are you, Summer? Me? Um, I'm Summer. I am a, I guess, 20-something Gemini of color. And I was born and raised in L.A., and I currently live in San Francisco. I do want to ask about the Gemini of color piece. What does that mean to you? Yeah, I think Gemini as a sign gets a lot of hate. And with the rising popularity of astrology, it's always fun to be proud of something that some folks would otherwise, I guess, call you out for being a particular sign. Right. And then how about the LA to Bay Area thing? How has that been? It's been great. I think it was the first time I've ever moved out of home um, and lived somewhere completely new. Although I do have my complaints about the Bay Area and the tech, the massive tech footprint that it has in the city. But otherwise, I'm quite enjoying the new city so far. That's great to hear. And I'm so excited that you've been part of Article Club really since the beginning. And I'd like to ask what drew you to Article Club in the first place? As far as what drew me to Article Club, it was first the highlighter. I had enjoyed reading the pieces that you've identified in the weekly newsletter. And to be able to focus on just one is something that I am really drawn to because a lot of the times, I find myself reading great articles, but having no one to talk to about it, much less people who are reading at the same pace as me and can be on the same page and ask each other questions throughout this process. Yeah, there's some people out there who just like to read articles to read articles. It seems like you also want to talk about them. Is that true? Yeah, I think that goes back to the Gemini part of me. Gemini's love attention and connecting with people, not to speak on behalf of all Gemini's, but I find it incredibly validating when someone enjoys something the same as me. Yeah. And given that you appreciate that, like, what do you feel so far has been the best part of Article Club now that we're in, I guess, our fourth or fifth month? Wow. Yeah. The the best part of Article Club so far has been connecting with folks who I otherwise would not have crossed paths with. And I think that speaks volumes to the folks that you've been able to draw to your article club, Mark. Um, I think I've spoken about this quite a bit in article club sessions about being hyper aware of my tech footprint. And since I work in tech, most of my like quote unquote community is those who are if not they're in tech, they are somehow related to tech. And to have that type of diversity in experiences, I think is, has been the most valuable to me because I I don't want to be complacent with what I'm surrounded with. 
It seems like you're really on this journey about your relationship with tech. Can you explain a little bit more about where you are and maybe even how Article Club might be helping you through this journey? I have so much to say about that, but I will preface that with I am having a more positive relationship in my understanding of tech, how it intersects with the rest of the world. Um, up until a couple of weeks ago, I worked at Uber, which does not have the greatest reputation. And I think it opened my eyes to just how layered and nuanced some of the spaces that Uber as a tech giant is looking to occupy. And I think I'm coming to terms with, with tech as well as this very peculiar late stage of capitalism and just how to be a person through all of this. Yeah, I really like how you speak about that. It's just really gratifying that you are finding articles in the highlighter as well as with Article Club that you feel you can connect with. I just really appreciate your open-mindedness as well, because one of the aspects of Article Club is that it's mostly strangers and you don't know who you're going to get and you don't know which article I'm going to pick. What's your viewpoint on that? I, I appreciate not knowing what I'm going to get because it opens the opportunity for something that I would not have stumbled upon. And as an example, this month's piece, Lost in Summerland, I, if it were not for Article Club, I would likely would not have crossed paths with it. I think it's an article that's been out for a while, but even then it hasn't been on my radar. And as much as there are pros with a more curated, prepared type of online space. I think there's a, a bit of mutual trust in you Mark, to, to handpick these articles. And I know whichever article you choose and the articles that you curate in the highlighter will be worthwhile and incredibly thought provoking. Thank you so much for saying that. Sometimes I think like, look at all these folks who are also trusting me with their time as well. This is a significant investment of time that everybody is putting in. And I, I have great confidence that, that I really appreciate the articles and that they have value to the group. But also, I just appreciate that from you as well as everybody else in Article Club. I'd love to talk to you a little bit about how you're experiencing the current article, Lost in Summerland, especially because you said that it wasn't necessarily one that you would know about or choose. How, how is it going so far? It's a long article. It's a deep article. What do you think so far? I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was very cool. Just visually, I read it from the original website instead of the annotated group article club version, mostly because I saw that there were some graphics and some intentional design aspects to it. So I was hoping that it had an impact on how I experienced the article. And with that said, I was going in thinking, I know it looks long, but I'll give it a chance. And I actually went through the article in one sitting and I introduced themes that I don't particularly run into in my day to day, nor would I go in searching for themes such as the supernatural as it relates to, to psychics and the gathering of such, as well as the other aspects within the article itself. And what I have enjoyed thus far is the relatability of the piece. It, it does touch on rather topics on the heavier side, but I think what made it, made the time go by quickly is the, the way that the author has has captured the nuance in the characters that I felt invested in the story as well as the characters in the story. I totally agree with everything you said as far as the topic I did not know very much about and just it's not in my world, but I also felt I felt the relatability was so high. Um, I have a big I have a big brother myself, and I really just felt like that the connection there was was throughout the article. Now, was that relatable in any way for you? Yeah, I think I'm still coming to terms with the article. I may have to reread certain parts of it since I'm not sure if I completely interpreted certain aspects of it correctly. 
or even at all. So I think I there are proponents of it that I would like to revisit. But as far as the relatability aspect, I think the, the themes of of belonging, whether it's the community that the brother has went out and sought, as well as relatability within one's family, despite being deemed as an outcast or different. That was really what struck me the most. And there was a an aspect of ambiguity and mysteriousness in the ways that the two characters are portrayed that leaves me as a reader wanting to know more about them. That's such a perfect characterization. Like, obviously, we don't want to give away too much. But but yeah, I I need to reread it as well, as far as like, what exactly is the interpretation that I'm bringing uh, based on this article? I think it's so wonderful that you're part of Article Club, such an important member of Article Club. And as, as far as my last question, I just wanted to ask, where do you think we're going with all of this? Like, where would you like Article Club to go and how would you like it to grow? Yeah, I think that's a good question. I think that's really up to you, Mark, as far as where you would like to drive the next phase of Article Club. I think um, to defy any sort of capitalist linear timeline of always having to progress and to always evolve. I think Article Club is great. It's super accessible in its current state, but I think also opening the opportunities to just experiment, not for the sake of growth, but for the sake of just trying new things out. I think in this COVID type of environment, we can't help but not try things because why not? I just want to thank you. That was amazing. It's true. We don't have to, I don't have to build and we don't have to build anything that necessarily grows, but it's, it's all about experimentation. It's all about us and sort of like what we make of it. And it doesn't have to be anything. I think that's such a great reminder. It's just great to be reminded that we get to just be how we want to be at this point. So thank you. Yeah, of course. Well, I look forward to the conversation, the discussion on the 24th, and and just, again, my appreciation for this, as well as for you um, being part of Article Club. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you yet again to Summer for sharing your first impressions about Lost in Summerland, and also for all your thoughts about Article Club in general. It's really heartwarming that we are building this thoughtful reading community. If you've been hesitant to join Article Club, as Summer says, why not try? There's still time this month to say that you're in. All you need to do is subscribe at articleclub.org. If you have any questions about what all of this is, or if you want to be on the podcast, please email me at articleclub at substack.com or at mark at highlighter.cc. Thank you very much for listening and have a great week.